One of the most fun parts of my job is having the opportunity to see tools because I am a bit of a tool junkie. And a really cool part of that is then having the opportunity to show those tools to you and go through their features and their benefits and what's cool about the stuff that I get the opportunity to see. So that's what we're here to talk about and I am ready to show you some cool stuff. Who doesn't love a good mullet? <laughs> I know I said that already, but um, with a name like mullet, you can't help but kind of make fun of that a little bit. So here's what's going on. This is the mullet. It's going to cyclonically remove dust from the airstream. That's what this is all about. It'll connect to any shot vacuum that you have, and it removes so much dust from the airstream. Again, we've got a video that we shot ahead of time, and we're going to um, show you that video now, help you understand this product. Who doesn't love a good mullet like mine when I was 16 many years ago? Um, what I'm really talking about for a mullet is this right here. This is a dust cyclone that's going to go in line between your shot vacuum and whatever is that you're, whatever it is you're picking up. It'll drop 99% of the junk, coarse and fine particulates, out of the air before it gets here. Now the reason that's a big deal is that the physics on your vacuum is very simple air out, air in. So as the filter inside here clogs, air can't go out. If air can't go out, that's what makes the performance diminish on the inbound side because it can't pick up because the filter's clogged. So part of what's going on here is we're stopping, we're mitigating that opportunity for dust to start clogging up that filter. What you're gonna see happen here in just a second is that the cyclone is crazy cool. The dust comes in, brrr, the stuff drops out and just clean air keeps going. What's neat about this is that it's a one piece molded unit so that we don't have seams, we don't have air leaks. It comes with this standpipe as a single unit and then you cut it to match it to your vacuum. The instructions are really, really good. That gives you the opportunity to pair this up regardless of which vacuum you have. And it's compatible with lots and lots and lots of different models. When we put these together, there's a thumb screw, and I love that, and you're gonna see why I love that in a little bit. What I'm gonna do is suck up a bunch of dust, and you're gonna get the chance to see the cyclone happening, and then we're also gonna look at the result of that. What does the inside of the vacuum look like? And what you'll see is what the shot back looks like after sucking up a few gallons of sawdust. Nothing up my sleeve. Now before I do a disassembly here, let me show you why I like these thumb screws. If you're anything like me, that vacuum hose is a leash I use to pull my vacuum around the shop. So because we've got thumb screws that bind those components together, it's one integral unit and they're not going to come apart while you're leashing them around the shop like this. Now, a couple things. Let's do this. And this. So there's the filter. And again, this is the critical component. If that gets clogged with stuff, you can't get airflow. Then, Remember, I just got done picking up a couple gallons worth of dust. That's what ended up inside the vacuum. Now to take care of business here, I'm gonna take that off, open that window, and then from there, we can dump this into your garbage can, your dumpster, whatever you're doing to dispose of your dust. 
So it's a great system at making sure that you're prolonging the life of the filter in your vacuum. You're not clogging that up, then you're gonna get much better efficiency out of using your shop vacuum. I know you just saw the magic, but I'm gonna show you again live because I really want to make sure that everybody understands that we're not doing anything funky with the video to make this look like it's doing something it's not really doing. I've got in front of me a bucket full of dust. Watch this. Watch right here, it's very cool. I just grabbed about half of that bucket. There's the filter. And there's the inside of the vacuum. It's just amazing. I really can't get over how much stuff the mullet takes out of the airstream and simple physics if air can't come out of this vacuum air can't go in and if that airflow is inhibited by a clogged filter then you're not going to get good pickup on the end of your hose so it really does a great job of um, getting in between your vacuum and the dust you're picking up to knock that stuff out of the air it's a lot of fun for me to do this and i hope it's fun for you as well to have the opportunity to watch these product videos. And part of the goal here is to help make you a more educated consumer. So when you're doing your tool shopping, we're zeroing in on exactly what you need and what's gonna help you out in your shop.